Well, good evening. <clears throat> See your yes. Oh, it's after seven. Hey, yikes! You might hear some noise downstairs. Uh, let's see if I get this. Like that. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Oh, crazy night. You might hear some noise downstairs. Father Gellin and his friend, his biographer, are uh, decided to hang pictures in the fireplace room and. They said, oh, we'll be, we'll be done. We'll be done. We'll be done. <laughs> I came upstairs, Bob. I'll broadcast them up here. In my little room, in my own safe space, I'd like you to meet tonight, me and my uh, friend here, who's been my friend since, I think, 1988. And has traveled with me and been everywhere. And when I get my bed made in the morning, especially if I have company coming, I, I make my bed anyway, but if I have company coming, then I put out my little thing in the middle of the bed up by the pillows who guards the bed day and night and there there he is you see my name my name is on there's backwards on the camera but that's my name and that's my little guy my little military guy what do they call them teardrop dolls um when i was at st michael's in 1988 they gave me that as a farewell gift because i was in the army already so that's my little little guy he hangs out with me and travels he doesn't travel with me, but at the home base. He's always at the home base, guarding the home base. Got to be there. He insists on it. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's like you, like you say. There, there, there he is. Good guy. Never. He never sleeps. He just his eyes are always open. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but tonight is Friday night, and I'm looking at that piece of wood sticking out of my head back there. Let me see if I can move over this way. Get in the green spot. This is the green room. This is the pastor's room uh, in the house. And uh, it's very nice. I really like it. It's very comfortable. So anyway, um, tonight is Friday night. You know, I was over uh, in Wapiton a little bit today for trying to get in to get my leg checked. After I fell, I'd show it to you, but you can see it's all black and blue from the knee down. And so, just making sure it's okay. But anyway, so I'm coming back from Wapiton, and I made the big mistake of turning on the news. Ugh. You know, I was thinking tonight when I was getting ready for this, I was thinking, Thank you. You like the green walls? Yes. It, well, I think you helped. Did you help paint them? <laughs> They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And, um, but I'm listening to this news. And then tonight when I got back, you know, I was a little depressed. I lay down for a little bit. Just, said, oh, this is depressing. Why am I depressed? Well, I thought, well, I listened to the news. That's what happened. And, you know, it reminds me of a domestic situation, I guess. Well, we're the kids, people in the country, we're the kids, and we're sitting in the middle of the room, and we're watching our parents scream at each other, and it, how are all kinds of accusations and bad things at each other, pointing fingers. In the meantime, we're just sitting there as a country, like, what do we do now? Mom and Dad are, are have gone out of their minds. And it, it's really... Oh, it's just so depressing. And just the yelling, the screaming, and the accusations, and the da, 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 da. <sighs> I'd really like to hear them talk about what is their plan to take care of um, the unemployed, uh, health, safety, all the things that government is responsible for. And, uh, that's what I'd like to hear them talk about. How are we going to help the people of America? Not, I don't want to know what the other person's dirty laundry is for the whole life. Um, let's, let's, everybody's got kinks in their armor, so let's get over that and get down to what we're here for. Um, government's job is to protect and safe, safety and care of um, 
of the country. Make sure we have uh, good protection, good safety, good health, uh, good education, and so on and so forth. And those are the jobs. I don't need to he hear, well, he said this, or she said that, or he did this, or he did that. Ugh, ugh, it gets you nauseated. So anyway, I'm going on a little bit about it, but I guess it was my problem for having to turn, having had turned on the news and actually listened to a bunch of crap. Yeah, well, I shut it off finally. Now I'm over that, I guess. Now that, now that I've vented here to you. We got to pray for our country. Boy, oh boy, what a mess. Oh, anyway, down on the home front, I hope it's not a mess. I hope things are going okay for all of you. And we've completed a week of school. Yay! And uh, I hope and pray, I think everything went okay. I haven't heard too many horror stories yet. Uh, that's a good thing. And I know the kids are excited. Oh, it's just so exciting to see the kids so excited. You know, that's, they're, they're our future. Um, and and uh, so it's our, our responsibility um, to, you know, take care of them, but to help them experience life and to interact and to, help them be live like a human being as much as possible and so that's why I think it's been a good week uh, it's been testing the waters for the school starting up and I'm sure it's been uh, a little bit of anxiety I would imagine for parents and school teachers and schools and children and but the children of course they they mirror our anxiety so that's why it's important not to uh, go bonkers in front of the kids uh, that's not a good thing at all want to keep them safe and healthy and happy and holy and that's what we pray that's another reason we pray for holiness of life and we pray that uh, you know uh, it sounds sort of goofy but today Friday Friday is that day of the week when we remember the Lord's passion uh, his, that he suffered and died for us to win salvation for us open the gates of heaven and so this what we're going through right now in our uh, current days here in our country with everything with the virus with the this and that and the other thing in politics and is is chaotic as it can seem at times the the uh, when you think about it this is the very reason that Jesus came and suffered and died for us. He didn't take away the mess. <laughs> he fixed it all in the end. He opened his job was to save us and get us into heaven. And that, that's what he did. And we're all not there yet. We're on the journey. But he made it possible to go on this journey and to get there. And so he suffered for all of our sins. And he suffered for... You know, there's different types of sin. There's personal sin. I sin. You sin. St. John says anyone who says they have not sinned is a liar, first of all. And in the Old Testament it says the just man sins seven times a day. So, okay, we all sin. And we are, our sin, our personal sin, does have a, a communal effect. It affects other people in society, you know, either through something in a way we sinned against someone or some people or things or just in our own sinfulness that it changes our attitude so we aren't be uh, uplifting to others because we're wallowing in our own sins so you have the sin, personal sin you have the sin of society and uh, uh, original sin that has come into the world and through its sin and death so you have all this sin around there right? it's in play all the time. And so, in one sense, we shouldn't be too shocked at the mess that our country is in because we've sinned. And, but what we want to remember is 
Jesus suffered and died for all of this stuff that we're going through right now. He didn't, uh, you know, Jesus isn't sitting up there saying, oh, I forgot to suffer for the U.S. going through this terrible time right now. I forgot to suffer for the coronavirus. I forgot to suffer for the politics. I forgot to suffer. No, he did suffer and die for all of this. And so in that, we should take up hope. He's already, in a sense, walked through everything we're walking through in our life. And he also continues to walk through it with us personally, day by day. And wants us to know that, yes, he knows what we're going through, but he has redeemed it. He doesn't you know, wave his hand and make it all go away, but he has redeemed it in the sense of it will not uh, destroy us. Sin cannot, will not... Um, he has destroyed sin and death. So in a sense, sin cannot destroy us. Even our personal sin. Uh, if we get back up and we return to the Lord and repent, uh, sin doesn't hold power over us. Uh, when we refuse to repent out of uh, just simply refusal, or out of anger, or out of fear, or out of guilt, uh, any of those things, that's what makes problems is when we refuse to acknowledge sin in our life and refuse to repent of it. That's a problem, and that creates problems for us. So, uh, yeah, it hurts to confess our sins. Uh, you know, we, we, we don't like to put our dirty laundry out on the line. We like to wash it first and make it nice and clean, then put it out on the line. And we do that a lot of times with God in our life. Oh, I want to make sure I stop sinning before I go to confession. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> That's the reason we go to confession. We are sinners. And we need God's grace and mercy. And we, we get back up and we go to confession. We repent of our sins. Receive the Eucharist for God's strength. And guess what? Things will get better. And, but we may sin again. Well, then we do the same thing again. Okay, all the saints, the difference in saints is that they kept stumbling and falling too. Just they kept getting back up. They believed in the mercy of God. And they acted on it in their own lives. And that's in a sense what helped them get to heaven. And ultimately become saints. So that's the thing for us not to get discouraged by the news stuff we hear. You know, shut it off <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I ended up having to do I just shut it off um, but not to get discouraged by it know that even in the midst of our fears and anxieties Jesus Christ suffered and died for all of this and what he needs us to do is trust in him and turn to him and, and interc intercede before the Lord intercede for one another before the Lord that's what he wants us to do because he can he can fix this he can fix this and not just by snapping his fingers but we are the ones who need to petition the lord we are the ones that need to storm heaven we are the ones that need to bend his ear in a sense uh and show him we're serious about living the life of christ and that we need his help in uh helping guiding our country in doing that so anyway that's what it's about so, and like I said, it's great glad the school started up. I'm happy you made it through the week, everybody. That's great. Congratulations. And we continue to pray for our farmers and the harvest. I know last, the other night we had a big wind, so I hope everything survived. And for all those, the different work and labor that all of us have in our different ways, our different walks in life, we pray that the Lord is walking with us and guiding us in all we do. And uh, and for those seeking employment that maybe are unemployed right now, pray for them that they keep hope alive in their search for a new job and not get discouraged, but to continue searching. Is, uh, I think they'll find it. They'll find it. So we keep praying for all of that. And all, all of our personal prayers uh, that us as a group, we want to bind with one another now and and uh, those who join us later on YouTube, we're binding with you in prayer. Bind all our prayers in the name of Jesus so that we can present them to the Father in Jesus' name. And 
through the power of the Holy Spirit and through the prayers and intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the spouse of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's a pretty big rank. So we want to include Mary and to have her pray with us, be part of our prayer team, to pray to the Holy Spirit, to pray to her Son, to pray to the Father. And uh, But it's nice to have her. She was there at Pentecost. It says Mary, the mother of Jesus, with the disciples. And she's with us every every time we gather in prayer because through prayer, uh, uh, Jesus is with us, the Holy Spirit is with us, the whole Trinity is with us. And wherever the Holy Spirit is, there also is not only God, but but also Mary is with us. She's the spouse of the Holy Spirit. You, you know, can you imagine being at a outdoor picnic or something and uh, you're introducing people and, and uh, Mary's saying, hi, I'm the mother of Jesus. I, let me introduce you to my spouse, the Holy Spirit. Name dropper. <laughs> I wish he would do that, but and she is, so that's a pretty big deal. So we want to include her in all our prayers. And now let's do that. Let's uh, gather our prayers into one. In terms of the Father. Um, oh, by the way, those those from our parish here, I found out the other day that there's a fall dinner on October 11th in an auditorium where there's social distancing and everything. And I did say today, let's let's go with it. So we're planning on that coming up. Just a heads up, October 11th. I think it's in the uh, Providence Auditorium. And we're, we're just starting to work on that today. But uh, so the word is going out that we plan on having our fall dinner on October 11th at the Providence Auditorium. More to follow on that. And so now let's begin with our night prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now that the daylight dies away by all thy grace and love, thee, maker of the world, we pray to watch our bed above. Let dreams depart and phantoms fly. <clears throat> the offspring of the night keep us like shrines beneath thine eye, pure in our foes despite. This grace on thy redeemed confer, Father, co-equal Son, and Holy Ghost the Comforter, eternal three in one. Yes, thank you, Paulette. Yes, also we pray for Safety and wellness this weekend for all, being the Labor Day weekend. Please stay safe, practice safe, all safe practices. And uh, if you're out in the water, uh, especially if you find swimming difficult, keep your life vest on. If you're a good swimmer, keep it, you know, maybe wrapped around your arm or on, either way. You want to have one for each person who's in the boat. Don't leave anyone without one. Because if you need it, you're really going to need it. And uh, so be safe on the roads. Don't drink and drive. Don't use drugs and drive. Um, just keep it very, very safe. And remember your prayers. And uh, for most of you, the places you're going to be at this weekend, by the way, I know there are many churches around North Dakota, Minnesota, around the lake areas. So, not going to Mass on a Saturday night or Sunday because I'm at the lake is not an option. You know you can get to Jesus. He's waiting for you. Okay? Enough of that. Preachy. Now, this is, like I say, Friday night. So, this is the night of Jesus' suffering and crying out to the Lord in his need. And so here's Jesus pouring out his soul to God, the Father. Just telling him how he feels. Lord, my God, I call for help by day. I cry at night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence. Oh, turn your ear to my cry. For my soul is filled with evils. My life is on the brink of the grave. I am reckoned as one in the tomb. I have reached the end of my strength. 
like one alone among the dead, like the slain lying in their graves, like those you remember, you remember no more, cut off as they are from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the tomb, in places that are dark in the depths. Your anger weighs down upon me. I am drowned beneath your waves. You have taken away my friends and made me hateful in their sight. Imprisoned, I cannot escape. My eyes are sunken with grief. I call to you, Lord, all the day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shade stand and praise you? Will your love be told in the grave or your faithfulness among the dead? Will your wonders be known in the dark or your justice in the land of oblivion? As for me, Lord, I call to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face? Wretched, close to death from my youth, I have borne your trials. I am numb. Your fury has swept down upon me. Your terrors have utterly destroyed me. They surround me all the day like a flood. They assail me altogether. Friend and neighbor you have taken away. My one companion is darkness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Day and night I cry to you, my God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Lord, you are in our midst. We are called by your name. Do not desert us, O Lord, our God. Amen. Do not desert us, O Lord, our God. Let that be our prayer, like as we go throughout the day and everything. They're praying for, for uh, I stop here. Praying for our country and for one another. Do not desert us, O Lord, our God. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations in the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Amen. Let us pray. All powerful God, Keep us united with your Son in his death and burial, so that we may rise to new life with him, who lived and raised forever and ever. Amen. The Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. <clears throat> and now we have this litany of Mary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Here we go. Of mercy in us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray. pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray. pray for us. Mother Undefined, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our creator, pray for us. Mother of our savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, 
pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord, unto us thy servants, that we may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be delivered from present sadness, and enter into the joy of thine eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, the Lord bless you tonight and tomorrow night, Saturday night, the first, you'll have evening and night prayer one of Sunday, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So until then, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great night. Now, see you tomorrow night, 7 p.m.